I'm Gary Pitts and I'm here with Sensei Fumio Dimura at his uh, traditional Gimokai Karate Tournament. Sensei, can uh, you tell us a little bit uh, about how long you've been in Orange County and how many tournaments you've put on and stuff? This is my 45th year in the United States. And uh, we started a tournament at UCI 1965. Then uh, I moved to the Orange County, uh, Orange Coast College for this is the four, uh, 39 years. Isaac is not only a martial artist, but he's also uh, a director or a producer of movies. So, and I know you've done a lot of stuff with Sensei Dimra. So, you tell us a little about your experience with Sensei Dimra and what you guys been doing together lately in the movie industry. Our uh, last uh, movie together was uh, Ninja, and uh, Sensei Dimura was kind enough to come with a team to uh, Eastern Europe, where I shot it where a set of a Japanese dojo was uh, built and uh, he really supervised that the dojo will feel authentic, that the kanji on the wall will be, feel authentic, uh, to train a bunch of uh, extras that were actually Chinese that they will move more or less like budokas and the most important thing that uh, whatever was and uh, look like traditional budo will feel right and will look right. But what surprised me is that uh, his ability to act, he could act, he could react, uh, and therefore, uh, coming as an advisor, I wanted him also to be uh, in front of the camera as one of the characters and the main characters, and he did a superb, superb role, including a fight scene that was shot at four in the morning at, uh, wow. with artificial pouring rain of him uh, dying, and he did it uh, brilliantly. Well, I'm looking forward to that movie, and I guess it's uh, just now coming out, is that correct? It's coming out right now, it is called Ninja. The ancient weapons of the Ninja. They held legendary powers for both good men and evil. It was true then, and there. It is true, here, and now. How often in life does one have the chance to see something so beautiful?
I know you've been in several movies, but you're actually producing him now. Can you tell me a little bit about your career and what you're up to now and some of the movies that are coming out in the future here? Well, uh, my career started back in 1989 as a stuntman, and then I went into stunt coordinating, second unit directing, and now I've been fortunate enough to get some jobs as a director. I just finished directing a film with Steven Seagal called Born to Raise Hell. We shot that in Romania, so yeah, I've been bopping around doing a few things, so it's, uh, it's been great. And I owe a lot of it to Sensei Demera because his work ethic and his focus that he taught me through martial arts is something that's got me there. I'm with Michael J. White. Michael, you're not only a martial artist, but you're uh, uh, into the movies and stuff, just like Cincy Dimra. Could you tell me a little bit about your martial arts career and your movie career and things that you're doing currently today? I've been doing martial arts ever since I was seven years old. Uh, I, I trained in seven different styles. And, uh, you know, I, I, I still train today. Uh, I've been doing movies for uh, about 15 years now. So it's been it's been it's been working out well. Um, yeah, I've got a, a couple of things coming out. I got a movie coming out April second called Why Did I Get Married Too? And of course the the movie with where Sensei Demura uh, does a cameo, Blood and Bone. And that completes our event here today in Costa Mesa, Orange County, and thanks for being with us until next time. <laughs>